It is a pleasure to address such a prestigious body and a pleasure to read such an interesting, considered and forward-looking report as the Royal Society's Science as an Open Enterprise. Today I want to give my immediate reactions and let you know how we in the European Commission are taking forward what really is our common agenda, making science open. I quite agree that science relies on sharing and openness. When scientists spread their knowledge, the community can examine, compare and learn. No wonder scientists have always sought new ways to share, from learned societies like your own to the scientific journal. Now the internet and new digital technologies gives us an amazing new tool to promote that sharing. To paraphrase one of your former members, new technology makes it so much easier to stand on the shoulders of giants. Your report says, and I agree, that modern science needs to head for intelligent openness for research data. The kind of openness that makes data freely and promptly available in such a way that you can access and use, but also understand and assess it. Of course we shouldn't ignore economic realities like the need to reward investment, nor should we ignore valid concerns like patient privacy. But that still leaves a lot of room for change, innovation and openness, for both research data and publications. Plus, we should never forget that the number one research funder in Europe is the taxpayer. And those taxpayers deserve to benefit from the research they have funded through open access. Let me tell you how we in the EU will be taking those ideas forward. Shortly, my Commission colleague Maura Gagan Quinn and I will present a communication and recommendation setting out some key principles on open access. For a start, the EU's own funding for research will have open access built in. To require open access for research publications stemming from the tens of billions of euros of EU research funding over the next seven years. We will also aim to have much of the related research data in open access. And of course we think that member states should apply the same policy to their own research funding too. Plus we'll look at areas like forward and reward mechanisms for researchers for both the institutions they are affiliated to and the institutions giving research grants. All in all, I want to ensure that all EU countries can keep up the same pace here, so that we benefit from a true European research area. Your report also raises the issue of linking research publications to underlying data. Last December, we gave an upgrade to Open Air, the Commission-funded access point to scientific repositories. Open Air Plus will link articles to datasets and help further work out the technical challenges and solutions. And today, I see many scientific publishers offering this functionality as well. Let's build on that. Raw content, text and data available to all under open access and everyone able to innovate on top of this common knowledge infrastructure. That's my vision for open digital science. All in all, the ideas in your report show convincingly how tomorrow science can benefit from changes in technology. The Royal Society has a tremendous history. This report confirms that you are looking towards a tremendous future too. Thank you.